And here we are, the final stretch of our month-long trip in China. This is the final video in my China Adventure series, so let's waste no time, hop off this train, get changed in our hotel, and hit the streets of Dali. Of course, the first thing we had to do was find a good coffee shop. And let me tell you, we were not disappointed with this one. Oh, that smells good actually. That smells pretty good. Yeah, it's a very That smells a bit more sweet. Also, can I just say how amazing the interior and patio area of the shop was? I mean, look at this place. There it is. Wow, now that is a sight to behold. All right, our coffee is here. It looks really good. I'm excited to try it. And optimistic it's better than the one yesterday because that was the best one we had so far. Hopefully this trumps it. Mmm. That's pleasant. That's really good. Not what I was expecting based off the smell. Hmm. Ooh, this is tough. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. No, we didn't add the extra shot. No, we didn't which is pretty impressive. Mm. Ooh, that's tough. This might be a tie for me between the two. Oh. Yeah, maybe we need to stir it up a bit since it's a dirty. All right, I'm gonna stir up the coffee since it's a dirty and uh, have it mixed with the oat milk more and kind of see how that is. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so I mixed it up a little bit with the oat milk. We'll give that a try. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really good. Shoot, I don't know. I don't know if I would call it the best, but it's definitely one of the better ones we've had. This, this might be the best dirty I've had, but between this and the coffee I had yesterday, I think I would give it to the coffee yesterday. But it's still really good. Maybe number two. I was hoping for more sweet and acidic, so maybe choosing a dirty wasn't the right option. Right? Because he said that uh, for the dirties they make here, they only use their blend, which had a blend of Yunnan and other beans. But if we just use Yunnan for a different type of coffee, maybe it would have been a bit more acidic and sweet. So maybe we'll try to find that somewhere else. Um, so yeah, you can forget everything I just said. Here's why. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so. After some careful deliberation, really trying the coffee, and really dissecting the notes a little bit and reflecting on our experience yesterday a bit more, I think we actually decided that this is probably the best coffee that we've had. And the one we had yesterday, I almost let it slip my mind that we added an extra shot of espresso in that, so it did have a stronger coffee taste. Um, because of that, this one, we didn't add an extra espresso shot. And it still has that really strong coffee flavor. The shot was pulled really well. It still has that complex flavor. Slightly acidic, not too much. Full bodied, sits nicely on the back of the tongue. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think uh, full points goes to this one for sure. Sometimes you need to you need to drink a little bit more. You can't really go just based off of the first sip. You need to see, you know, the the, the I feel like the coffee evolves as you sip through the cup, right, from top to bottom. And I think that's what happened with this one. So 
um, yeah, I think this is the winner. Yeah, I'm almost done this cup of coffee and the more I drink it, it's just like, it's hitting me like, no, this is definitely the best one we've had. A few moments later. It just, it tastes so full bodied, I think. I think that's really it. The mouthfeel is just not intense. It's just... Anyways, we're done with that segment now. After buying some beans for the road, we decided to hit up another coffee shop that was nearby. I promise, this whole video isn't just about coffee. But, we are in Yunnan, so what do you expect? Let's head to the next shop now. Here we are, Jean Coffee. Immediately, we noticed the vibe here was much more bright and modern compared to the last cafe. They also carried quite a wide selection of coffee beans. These beans were noticeably fruity and sweet smelling, which is what I've come to expect from Yunnan single origin beans. Though, the barista was quite insistent on us trying their house blend as a latte instead. Despite really wanting those fruity notes, we were quite happy with their house blend. It was really well balanced and full bodied. It especially worked well with the subtly sweet and nutty flavor of the oat milk. And just like the last cafe, we couldn't leave here empty handed. Okay, our first day in Dali is just about over as we arrived here quite later in the day. But we still have another full day ahead of us. We'll be back in the old town tomorrow for half of our day, but let's take one last stroll here tonight before we head back to our hotel. Of course, we had to begin our last day in Yunnan with a signature Yunnan dish. Spicy Yunnan rice noodles. They had a perfect balance of acidity, spice, and sweetness. The shredded chicken on top looked like it was going to be dry, but was surprisingly juicy. Along with the noodles, we had marinated chicken skin that you could dip in a little bowl of chili oil. Overall, a great meal with the perfect amount of zinc to kickstart our day. Shortly after we ate the noodles, we spotted a tea shop that is exclusive to Dali, at least as far as I gathered. The drinks sold here are quite similar to some of the other shops we've been to such as Chaji or Chahonang in Xi'an. We opted once again for the trendy tea drink with the whipped cream on top. I'm ready. Same one I've been getting at all the other tea places. Tastes just about the same, maybe a little less sweet. But I like to compare them, I like between the different brands, but this is the exact same one. You have the nuts on top, and then the red tea on the inside. Pretty good. This one though, on the other hand, this one's really good. This one is has more of like a cheesy taste to it. So interesting. Yeah. Mmm. It's almost like, like liquid, like cheesecake almost, but not, not super cheesy though. That's really good. Okay, I'd say we're pretty dang satisfied on the food and drinks front. I think we've spent enough time in the old town, so let's switch the vibe up a little. But first, let's make our way out of the old town. Welcome to Erhai Lake in Dali, Yunnan. Let me just start by saying that our time in Erhai Lake was one of my top moments of our entire trip. Seriously, I'm not just saying that. 
Firstly, I love cycling, especially in a new city and by the waterfront. Second of all, my ignorant ass had no idea that a place like this in China existed at all. At moments, I felt like I was in a resort town in Europe or something, but it still felt Chinese at the same time. Okay, now that we dismounted our bikes, hunger hit us immediately. The European vibes we were feeling were spot on because we spotted an Italian restaurant that looked really promising. Right off the bat, we noticed a lot of people taking photos here. That's not that abnormal for a touristy location in China, but this felt different. Every room and corner of this four-story restaurant was filled with people taking photos. I'm talking studio-level photography. And oddly enough, the staff of the restaurant didn't seem bothered one bit. Well, that's because this restaurant cafe called In My Heart doubles as a photo-op goldmine and restaurant. Seriously, in their marketing and branding, you can see they use a camera and coffee cup icon. But let me just say, In My Heart's views and photo ops weren't its only strengths. The food was actually really damn good. We ordered a wood oven black truffle pizza, bolognese pasta, tiramisu, pistachio foam latte, and osmanthus rice wine latte. Guys, listen. This was surprisingly some of the best Italian food I've had in a long time. The pizza was so rich and fragrant, and honestly, I'd use the same exact descriptors for the pasta as well. And while the coffee we had at Khaki Cafe yesterday was one of the best of our entire trip, the coffee here takes the prize for the most unique. Somehow, fermented rice and osmanthus work so well together in a latte. Wow, what an experience. I'm so happy we capped off our time in Yunnan here. Just like everywhere else we've been to in China, I will never forget our time in Yunnan. Well, I'm sad to say this, but that's it for our one month adventure in China. Or is it? That's right, here we are, back in the mega city of Chongqing once more. We spent another whopping week here before we headed back to Toronto. But unfortunately, this is the finale to my China Adventure series. Though, I'd still like to show you how we spent our final week in Chongqing. So, I put together something special for you guys. I hope you enjoy this final segment of my China Adventure series. Let's end things off with a bang. Just like that, our month-long adventure in China is over. New friends were made, new foods were tried, and sights I never thought possible were seen. This really was the trip of a lifetime. 
I want to thank you all for sticking around and watching this series over the past several months with me. I hope you enjoyed watching my videos as much as I enjoyed shooting and editing them. While my China Adventure series has come to an end, my time in China is far from over. If you haven't seen my recent update video, spoilers, I moved to Chengdu, China. How did I go from our one month of traveling to actually move into China? Please check out my last video where I break it all down for you if you haven't yet. Now that I live here in China, the possibilities for adventures, exploration, and good times are absolutely endless. With that being said, please get excited because there are a lot more videos on the way. You won't want to miss that, so if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and also please drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. Thank you all once more for watching and I will see you in the next video.